guys, it's Janie. Welcome back to The Bookworms Buddy. It is time for my September wrap-up. I read nine books, so that was pretty good. And let's just get started. The first book that I read is called Obstacles. And this is by Christopher Michael Reardon. And the author approached me um, with this book in, re in exchange for a review. So I decided to go ahead and do it. This book was just okay for me. Um, it seemed a little bit unrealistic and there was parts that were just a little slow for me. Um, the idea of the story is there is an African American doctor, his name is Alcott, and he is a live-in doctor for this family and he takes care of this young boy named Gary who is dying. Well, Alcott gets the opportunity to save Gary's life by acquiring this text called Altering Fate. Um, once he gets this text, he has to go through all these obstacles, and at the end of it, he can actually save his life, but he must give up his own. And then the story goes on from there. Um, yeah, like I said, it was just okay for me. Um, I just think it had a lot of potential, it just wasn't executed well. So I rated this one a 2.5 stars. The next book I read is called A Bride in Store, and this is by Michelle Jaggers. I got this for review from Book Look Bloggers. And I was quite pleasantly surprised by this story because it is a Christian historical romance. Yeah, it flowed well and I enjoyed the story. You have this woman who is a mail order bride and to start things off she decides to go early to her destination to get married and her train was robbed. She gets there and then she finds out her groom is nowhere around, he's out of town. So she meets up with his business partner and friend and she starts to fall in love with him instead and the story goes on from there. So it was actually a really good story. I really enjoyed it and I rated this a four star. The next book I read is called A Stranger North and this is a post-apocalyptic story and again I was approached by the author in exchange for an honest review and um, I rated this one a three star or 3.5 star. Like I said, it's a post-apocalyptic. This man is going across the earth for many, many years, and he's trying to find other survivors. The earth is just desolate. Uh, finally, he, do, he loses consciousness, and this young girl finds him and takes him back to her village, and the story goes on from there. Um, it was a decent story. I think it flowed well. I think the imagery was, was good in the story. It kind of reminded me of an old Western kind of story. So, um, yeah, I really kind of enjoyed it. I rated that a 3.5 stars. The next book I read was Fire. It's Septimus Heap. Uh, book number seven. This was the final book. This was the end of the journey. I was kind of sad. It was bittersweet. But it was really, really good story. I think I might even have a series review up on this. So I will link to that in the description. Great middle grade series, I think. Uh, like I've said before on the other ones, I've said that this is like a down, a downgrade, a little bit downgraded from Harry Potter. It's not quite as intense as that, and you don't really grow up, you know, like in Harry Potter. Um, like I said, I will link to my review of this in the description, so you can go watch that one. The next one we've got here is, oh yes, and that was rated four stars. Sorry, guys. The next one I've got here was Lisa Jackson's Born to Die. This was a buddy read with a friend of mine. As you know, I've been reading this series, and this is book number three. It does not carry over from the second book. Um, we get the same detectives, their lives, that stuff carries over, but the case doesn't. It's a whole new case, and I enjoyed this one just as much as the other ones. Um, we have another serial killer on the prowl, and he is, again, attacking women. I don't remember if I did a video on this. If I did, I will post it in the description below. I rated this a five star. The next one I have here is Sundays at Tiffany's by James Patterson. I did this as a buddy read with Janelle over at Mrs. J. Rod's Reads and I so enjoyed this story. Uh, I think James Patterson is great with these kind of stories. He just knows how to tell a heartfelt story. It's about a little girl who has a um, imaginary friend and then imagine that your ad imaginary friend finds you later in years and he is a real person. And that is what the story is by this and um, I absolutely loved it. 
I rated this one a four star. The next one I read was Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn. I do have a review for this and I will link that in the description below. And this book was just crazy. Um, there was a lot of hype about the book. I didn't, it didn't like blow me away, but I did enjoy the story. Um, like I said, it was crazy that people were crazy and people talk about how um, they don't like the characters and I didn't really like the characters either. But I think that was the author's intention was for us to not like these characters, it makes the story a little more realistic. And um, I have to say, I just liked Amy more than, than any of them. But anyway, I rated this a uh, 3.5 stars. I do recommend you give this a go. The next book we have is The Historian by Elizabeth, Elizabeth Kostova. And this book, I just, it's a DNF. And this is a historical, and it was on um, Dracula and Vlad the Impaler and how they were the same person. But there was so much history and not enough story that it didn't keep my attention. This was for a buddy read, and I just couldn't force myself to read any further. I read to page like 305, and it just drug on. So, yeah. No rating. But I do have a review, written review, on why I didn't like this. Um, and you can go to my Goodreads and find that. The last book that I read for the month of September, another historical called The Journal of Dora Damage by Belinda Starling. And this I was pleasantly surprised by. I ended up rating this one a three and a half stars. Um, this was set back in the 19th century. And there's a woman whose husband is a bookbinder. And he gets uh, rheumatoid arthritis and his hands start to get really bad and crooked and messed up and he can't bind books anymore. So she steps in and says, I can do this. But back then, women were not looked at as capable of doing much of anything. And her husband didn't think she could do it. And anyway, things start happening and she starts getting pornographic, pornographic material to bind up. She goes ahead and agrees with it because she's getting money. She had to save her family because they were poor because her husband couldn't do the work anymore. And the story goes on from there. I really enjoyed this. I got a really good view into the 19th century and how women were treated. They were treated poorly. And this, she wrote that very well. She wrote this time era, this era very well. And I really ended up enjoying the story. So that is the books. Those are the books that I read for September, guys. Have you read any of these books? If you have, let me know, and um, we'll talk about it. Thanks, guys, for staying tuned, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.